Hi, uh, Josh here, 48K Ram, uh, up in the retro room with another quick update on the FujiNet. So, uh, a lot of people have been working on this, myself included, mostly Tom Cherry Holmes. Love you, Tom. And so, he has implemented what he calls right now the Disculator. Uh, so, I'm going to power off. I've got my 800XL here, and this is the uh, FujiNet device. Uh, just the ESP8266 on an, an SIO carrier. So I'm going to plug this in because uh, right now mine needs external power. Uh, hopefully that will be fixed and will be powered by the Atari, but we'll power that up. And then I'm going to just turn on the Atari, just boot it like normal. And we're going to boot off of an onboard uh, ATR disk image, and that boots into the disculator. So at this point I can supply the hostname or IP address of a TNFS server, it's a tiny NFS server. And we're going to look at the one on my machine. 10.07 on my th this little test network, and we'll just hit enter. And there, it just pulls a list of disk images that are sitting on my TNFS server. So, uh, I can boot one real quick. Um, here is outlaw. And I hit enter, and it will Force reboot my Atari. And now we're running Outlaw. Um, so, let me uh, go ahead and I'm going to reset this right now. I just hit the, there's a little reset button right here on the uh, ESP module. I'm going to turn it on back now. That's needed right now just to get back into the, uh, the disculator menu so it boots off the onboard flash instead of booting off the network. Because this image right here with the disculator, that's been programmed into the onboard flash on the FujiNet. I'm going to supply the host name of an internet living TNFS, TNFS server. It's hosted by one of the other developers. We're going to fire that up. And these are all the ones that are sitting on his, I think it's a DigitalOcean droplet. Uh, so I'm going to boot this off of many hundreds of miles away. Um, this one will, will load quick. Jump man, hit enter. All right, wants me to remove, so I'm gonna hit option reboot so that it will boot without basic on this XL. And there we are. Now you can hear the SIO uh, noises are much further between the individual beeps. That's just network delay. And so you, you could hear it was a lot faster to boot off of my local TNFS server, but it's booting. And if I sit here long enough, it should finish booting Jumpman. There we are. So it's progressed to the point where there's a, a client side portion that can choose a server and choose a, an image off of that server. Things are progressing really quickly. So I just wanted to record this and get that out there. Uh, thanks so much to, to Tom and uh, Moswald and uh, Mr. Robot working on the new version of the, the PCB and the carriers. Um, this is going to be awesome. That's FujiNet.